Well, a team of students from the University of Hawaii at Manoa created a high-tech robot that's roving around that may someday work alongside astronauts on Mars. And they have qualified, wow, for the finals of the University Rover Challenge. And rovers are tasked with complex maneuvers like in investigating for the presence of life and delivering objects to astronauts in the field. Exciting now, Frankie. Uh, Frankie Zhu and Micah Chang, you're now here and you are gonna tell us what is up with this rover challenge. So Micah, you're a student, so you helped put this together. You're the team project manager. So how did you come up with this rover? Uh, so this is actually three years in uh, kind of the making. There's been three teams before us, and Frankie has really been our advisor through all of it. And okay. it was kind of a way for us to incorporate more, I guess, real-world experience into the engineering curriculum at UH. Sure. Find new ways to kind of use those things and develop our skills. Okay, so, so how did it help you to develop your skills to become a better, better mechanical engineer? Uh, I think... Uh, personally, I learned quite a lot. I mean, being able to take over a leadership position in this uh, organization really helped me a lot. I think helped me both with like bringing the textbook stuff to life, helping to bring all those things together. And I think it also taught me a lot of the other sides of engineering or just project management in general, being able to do finances, being able to coordinate things. It was oh, like yeah. a whole new experience, I guess, outside of engineering as well. Okay, so, so Frankie, what does this mean? I mean, so you folks are like finalists mm -hmm. for this challenge. So just tell us about the challenge and, and what that means as far as moving forward. Yeah, so this international competition tries to mimic a Mars mission as much as possible. So some of the challenges that you listed, like um, bringing tools to astronauts or doing science investigations, those are all things that real life missions that are pushing the boundaries of humanity, that's what we're trying to do, but we're simulating it in a more controlled environment. Okay, so will this rover go to Mars? How, how is this, <laughs> I mean, whose rover is going to Mars? <laughs> so this particular rover is yes. not going to Mars, but all of the concepts are training students who will eventually work for NASA, who will work for these really large aerospace companies that will send um, robots to Mars. Exactly. No, because yeah. this is so exciting. So how are you excited about this working possibly for NASA and creating a robot that could, could be on Mars? Oh, yes, absolutely. It's very exciting. It's great to be able to even have this opportunity to do something that could lead in this direction. Okay, and, and so um, Frankie, what other projects, is, in terms of this rover, yeah. what kind of projects like this are moving students forward in terms of like just being able to create something that will you know, really eventually sure possibly go to Mars? Yeah, so at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, we have a lot of space programs. We have a satellite team. We are actually sending things to space, so those satellites are real life missions. Um, we're doing real science that is pushing the boundary of human knowledge. We have balloons, we have rockets. So um, there are just so many opportunities that really cultivate the Hawaii workforce here. Wow, look, I just love looking at this. It looks so cool. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it looks like it really is roving. So, so, so Micah, what, what do you hope to do with your experience learning from this project? Well, I really hope to take all this experience and use it somewhere in the workforce. That would be the ideal case. But I think, you want to work for NASA? Uh, if that was possible, that would be great. <laughs> Okay, and so Frankie, um, what is the next step for this challenge in terms of the UH Manoa? Yeah, so the next challenge for us to get to Utah is funding. So we need to find some way of purchasing all of the air tickets to get our team over to Utah. Another challenge is shipping the rover over to Utah. The batteries, you know, are hard to ship through TSA, and so we're trying to figure out a different way to just get this huge, maybe, is it like 100 pounds? Yes, Rover wow. to Utah. Okay, so how much will that take? How, do we know a figure? So maybe out there someone will say, I'll donate all that to send you all to, to Utah. <laughs> Uh, at the moment, it's looking like it's going to be about $1,000 to ship our crate so that we can have it very secure during transportation what? each yeah. way. Wow, $1,000 is not very much. Yeah. Yeah, just for shipping. Just, just shipping, for shipping the people is going to take another 15 k yeah. Okay, 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 16 k altogether. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, what, that's, I'm sure someone out there can possibly donate that. Yeah. 